It's been a year since we have launched the wine club. For me, it was very exciting. Every month we sat down and picked out the most amazing and most interesting wines or tequila or sometimes whiskey. So what we're going to do this month is, as you can see, I have Yarden 2014 versus Yarden 2018. I can say everybody loves Yarden and we're going to try to compare what happens when a wine is a few years older than the other one and how does it affect the taste, smell and color and is it that much better or is it a complete different wine? Are you ready? We are starting with the 2018 Yarden, the current vintage. really tell a difference in color. On the nose, we should be able to tell a difference. On young wines, you get primary fruits. Older wines, you get like more leather or imagine just a banana sitting on the counter. The notes of the fruits will change. So that I should be able to smell different notes in the older wine. So we're going to start with the 2018. On the nose, the 2018 is already four years old. You do get plums, berry, oak. Very powerful wine, lots of acid, which helps the wine to age. It's a beautiful wine, but you can tell that it's a very young wine. It's vibrant, it's alive. So let's go to the 2014 and see what happens with a wine like this, aging a few years more. So you do get a lot of more complexity, leather, cigars, the body is still there, but the acid has dropped. So that's what happens with age. So I would say this wine is more complex versus the 2018 is in your face. Maybe it has the complexity, but you can't see it yet. It's like when you see a teenager that you know that he's charismatic and smart and you can see that with time you will develop into something beautiful so this is a beautiful education for myself I've been doing this for a few minutes here and I'm learning every day and this is the only way to learn wine for me and if you have a different way please teach me